I, I just I didn't see any of it. I was working on something, and I had no idea who won. I didn't know uh, anything. I didn't. Uh, I had to get all caught up today. You, have any, you know, I, I watched the Dixie Chicks perform, and I thought, you know, you haven't told your story about uh, Natalie in a long time. I thought about my first encounter with her was it on Politically Incorrect, and people were like, who is this chick? And the, and, the, and, the, and the publicist, for the first time, did something very, very uh, sort of appropriate, just said, you'll know who she is, just relax, just trust me. I, uh, you know what? Was I on P.I. with the Dixie Chicks tour, or was that just you? Just me. It was well before they were the Dixie Chicks. She was, I mean, I had no idea who she was. Yeah, I just and remember was, you were on with uh, the Dixie Chicks. And, and Woody Harrelson was attacking her because she took a sort of a anti-pot stance. And, I thought uh, I did it with them, too, but... Maybe. Eh, who the hell knows? Anyway, but I thought it'd be worth telling that story again. That story cannot be told enough. Huh? All right. Well, it was at the uh, first Grammy, so yeah. I'll, I'll try to uh, make it quick. Oh, screw it. It's going to take a while with this one. Uh, I Well, the, the, when they won their first Grammy was at the Shrine, but uh, it was a few weeks before that. I got a call from uh, my then-manager's assistant, said, uh, you know the Dixie Chicks? I said, yeah, I know them. I mean, they were they were up for a Grammy, and they'd sold some records. It was their first record. And Have pe- you been on Love Line, the TV show, I think? No. I don't think so. No. I don't remember meeting any of right, them. Right. And uh, I had heard of them, and people had heard of them, but there wasn't any big whoops. And uh, they said, well, you know, the lead singer, Natalie, wants, wants you to escort her to the, uh, to the Grammys. And uh, I said, why? I've, I've <laughs> never met her. And she said, well, she, she watches you on Loveline on MTV and uh, likes some, some joke you made about farting or something. <laughs> and I said, <laughs> oh, Jesus. I said, well... And this is really, this is how my life works. This is my life in a nutshell. I said, uh, how can I take her? I, I have a girlfriend, a longtime girlfriend, yeah. and uh, I, I couldn't see myself taking a, another girl to the Grammys. I think my girlfriend would get mad. And, of course, uh, the assistant uh, says, oh, no, no, no. People do this all the time. They do it all the time. It's common, common in this town. I said, what, you mean just to be like an escort? Yeah, mm-hmm. No, no, doesn't mean anything. I said, No. All right, well, what time? It's like 7 o'clock. I'm like, all right, I got to go do the radio after that. I was like, okay, sign sign me up. Tell her fine. Sounds like a good time. And, uh, of course, uh, my girlfriend was pissed. Of course. Pissed as hell. But uh, let me tell you the difference between the way we handle our lady friends. <laughs> I told her, nine, uh, my what I do for a living gets you, gets you good things nine out of ten times. All your concert tickets, all your friends, all this junk all the time. Once in a while, you got to bite the bullet, and it's Grammy night. And she, uh, she took it. So uh, I ended up going with uh, Dickie from the Boss Tones. We ended up running late, missing, like, the Dixie Chicks limo. We're going to meet him there and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so uh, Dickie and I got ready, and uh, we went over there and uh, met up with the Dixie Chicks. Nice, really nice, entire band, sweethearts, all of them, friendly. <laughs> and uh, they, won the, they won the Grammy, and it was weird because I, I stood up, and they all stood up. I knew my girlfriend was watching on TV. So I had to like give him like a good handshake, and then it was like it was awkward, like weird pat on the back and a peck on the cheek, and I sort of slapped him with my palm on the shoulder. Was, nice work. Huh. <laughs> and so they went up and collected their Grammy, and then we got in the limo and went to like some party. But of course, I had to go to work, so I was at the party from like you know nine ten to like nine thirty two, oh, and then boy. I I came here, you know, and they won. Then everything was great. So. Uh, the next day, I got a uh, big bouquet of uh, roses uh, at my at my office, at the Man Show office, and it said, uh, "Thanks, had a good time, Natalie." You know, from the Dixie Chicks, lead singer. And I said, "No, oh, that was nice." I was telling my partners, Daniel, and Jimmy, <laughs> that, was, "That was nice. Had a good time. Sent me some flowers. That's nice." And uh, and then I called her. I, I had her cell phone number, and I and I called her, and I said, "Hey, uh, Natalie, I got I got the flowers." And she was like, it was a little confused. Like she was like, huh? I was like, hey, I got the flyer. And she's like, oh, 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 good, good. And she goes, I'm watching you right now on TV. <laughs> and I was like, whoa, chick's got it bad for me. You know? I said, uh, Thanks for the flowers. Had a good time. You know, when you guys come in and do the radio show. I said, All right. A day later, I get, uh, let's see, what did I get? I got like a big uh, cookie, oversized novelty uh, hubcap size uh, cookie that says like, uh, I love Adam on it, Natalie, you know. And I uh, thought, whew, this uh, chick's uh, doesn't let up. 
got it bad for the kid. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Can't say he's a blamer. Because you're gloating to all your partners. Of course, I'm oh. gloating to everyone I'll hear it in the office. Yeah, this Dixie chicks. Yeah, the lead chick. Yeah, got it, got it bad for the ace man. Man, she's fl- only flesh and blood. I guess I can't blame the kid. And uh, then, then the next day, or maybe two days later, I get like a big stuffed animal or something, and it's Natalie from. And uh, Daniel, and Jimmy are like, "Look, you got to call her. You got a girlfriend. I mean, this is getting a little out of control." So I call her, and I'm like, uh, "Yeah, appreciate this, and appreciate that, but you know, I got, I got a girlfriend. But uh, hey, next time you come in town, you do the radio show. I have some kicks." He's like, uh, "Okay." <laughs> so then I get the. Uh, the next day, I get the uh, six foot sub with the sign in it that says, uh, I will not be ignored. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie from the Dixie Chicks. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> I mean, uh, this girl, I mean, I see her point. I mean, a lot of man. And you try to be direct. Maybe as too much could be. man for one woman, but I, I was pretty straight with her last time I talked to her. I said I had a girlfriend, you know. And uh, wow, this is all right. This is her sense of humor. This is what she's doing. She's having a sense. She's having a joke about and it. You're having powwows with Jimmy and Dan. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Out, yeah. We got to put an end to this. <laughs> and uh, then the next day, I get the panties, and it says like. Uh, F me now or something, you know, Natalie from the Dixie Chicks and Daniel and Jimmy are like, hey, buddy, this is spun out of control. You you got to <laughs> you got to call this chick now and take care. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'll give her buzz on when I get home. She's like, no, now you got to call her. Now I had her cell phone number, so I called. She's at a pottery barn in like uh, <laughs> with her mom. Yeah, in like uh, uh, I don't know, like Tennessee with her mom. And I'm like, hey, Natalie, listen, this is Adam. You know, we had a nice conversation, but uh, apparently you didn't get the message. I got a girlfriend. The flowers were great. Flowers, the stuffed animals, the, the cookies, the panties. She's like, I didn't send any of that. And I'm like, whoa. I mean, I got the flowers. And then I looked up, and uh, the entire office was uh, filled with a man show employees uh, laughing like uh, the Video maniac. cameras pointing yeah, at Yeah, Jimmy had the video camera going. <laughs> and she's like, huh? What? Panties? And I'm like, oh, uh, oh, 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 oh. oh. You, you, uh, you didn't send all uh, 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 stuff to, uh, stuff, 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 not, stuff. Not even the flower. What, what about the poo bear? <laughs> what about the big, t- the, 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 the big t- poo, 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 poo was you, right? That was you? Huh? Oh. She's like, I didn't even send the flowers. I just figured my publicist did it. And I was being nice. <laughs> And I was like, oh, Christ. Listen, I, 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 can't, I, I can't explain. I got to go. I got to go. <laughs> but they came in here a few months later, oh. and they were nice. We had a good time with oh, them. She and then you remember what they did? Next day, they sent over a six-foot sub and a whole oh, yeah, uh, big deli uh, right. spread over here yeah. that we all uh, enjoyed. So uh, right. there's the Dixie Chicks, Class everybody. Act. Good people. And here's the thing I love. My uh, now wife and then girlfriend was mad at me. <laughs> she, she was mad. <laughs> and I was like, what, what do you mean? I was calling her and telling her, hey, we can't do this, you know? And, and she's like, that's what I love about women. Still, still can figure out a way to be pissed off. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we'll be back.